friends, welcome back to the channel. Um, we need to do a serious Bath & Body Works empties trash talk. I was trying to hold off on this because I don't really have a lot of variety in here, but I have been burning and burning and burning candles and I just can't wait any longer. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, we'll start with candles. First one that I have is the A Thousand Wishes candle. I really, really enjoyed this. It started to have um, puny wicks right around like this point in time, but it burned pretty well aside from that. You can see that there wasn't really any sooting happening and it had a really strong scent throw. I really enjoyed this. If you like this particular body scent, you'll love it as a candle. Uh, I also used up Sundress. This to me is really like a cologne type of men's fragrance scent. Uses in my bedroom. I really liked it. Um, you can see we had a bit of like a sooting problem with it. Wax started to turn a darker color, but again, it burned right down. I didn't have a whole lot of problems with it and it had a really strong scent throw for our bedroom. I don't think it would have done as well in a bigger space. Also burned through Raspberry Citrus Swirl. Really enjoyed this. This again was a strong scent throw. Um, it started to have some burning problems when I got down to about this position on the candle. Um, so it prolonged the life of it, which I didn't necessarily love because the smell wasn't as strong once it started to get the puny wicks, but if you like a fruity scent, I think that there are still some of these floating around stores. I have seen this line, even though I feel like it didn't last very long in stores, uh, I think you could still pick it up. So if you like the fruity scent, grab this. I also am sad to say that I burned the Baja Cactus Blossom. This is the second one of this. We had some um, sooting, as you can see on the side here. And then we also, I've never had this happen before, but there looked to be some sort of like seepage or it permeated through the bottom of the glass. I'm really not sure but it kind of was stuck to the table when I went to take it off. But aside from that, it burned beautifully. I love the scent of this. It was such a strong smell. I'm kind of sad I didn't get a second one of these during the semi-annual sale. I really probably should have because I really, really like the scent, but I think it's kind of one of those scents that Bath & Body Works does often, so I'm sure it'll come back, maybe named as something else, but I'm not too afraid that I'll never see it again. The last candle that I burned through for three wicks was the Saint Tropez. I'm actually going to keep this, pick out the wax. Um, That's to me, not super easy to do, but I think it'll be worth it so I can use this for makeup brushes. I've amassed a lot of makeup brushes lately. And I have to say, this is such an awesome scent. When I first burned it and first got it, it reminded me of suntan, just less intense, and it was perfect. It made my entire living room smell awesome. It was just such a refreshing beachy scent, and I really wish that I had had two of these. These are cleared out from stores. I went in the other day to exchange another candle that I had bought the same time I had gotten this one. And these are just, this whole line is gone and I'm really sad about it. But if you can find these, especially the Saint Tropez Saint, I would totally pick it up if you'd like that summery beachy scent, cause this is phenomenal. Okay, burned through two of the one wicks. I have the Guava Pina Culotta, which was just Okay, the Pina Colada to me is the strongest scent of this, but I have found that these one wicks, I won't buy them again unless I'm getting multiple versions of them because they just don't have a very strong scent throw. This was in my bedroom and you could kind of smell it, but it wasn't super strong, super great. And they burn really unevenly. I don't understand it. So like, for example, at one point it was burning and there was a huge wall of wax on here and that ended up melting down as soon as the wax got to like here. So they burn really strangely. So it was just all right. And then um, Hawaiian hibiscus. I really really liked this scent. But again, not much of a scent throw on these. I have, I think, one more that I'm burning and then either one or two more on back stock. And I'm just gonna burn through them and get them over with, but I just won't buy the single wicks in the future. Okay, done with wax, let's move on to hand soaps. I used up the antibacterial watermelon lemonade. It's super weird. I love this as a hand soap. I don't like it as a body care. I don't like it as a candle. I don't know why I like it as a hand soap, um, but I got the deep cleansing. I've never really used these before, but this is the one that they had on sale at the time. And I blew through this. I find that we go through the deep cleansing soaps so much faster than foaming ones. And I'm really not sure why, because we also have the Seaside Sunset, which has like sun-kissed mango, summer petals of vanilla in it. 
really enjoyed both of these scents. I don't think they're still available, but if you can get your hands on either one of them, grab them because they're great. Used one body wash and it's the mini travel size of the Golden Pineapple Luau. This is just a three ounce guy. Um, I have a full size of this. And I have to say, I'm gonna have to wait until next year to use it because I'm kind of sick of it after using it as a three ounce, which makes me nervous because the next one that I have is a full size guy. But it's definitely very pineapple-y. It smells a lot to me, uh, almost like fruit snacks in a way, but I liked it while I had it. I'm just now sort of over this scent. I have two pocket backs. I've got the Japanese cherry blossom. I have a love-hate relationship with this. I like this scent initially, but I've grown very tired of it. I don't know why that is, maybe because it lingers on your hand for a really long time, and that can be a little bit much for me personally. I also used Merry Berry Christmas. This one, yeah, this is a nice berry scent. I wouldn't necessarily call it a Christmassy scent, but I used this in my car and it really, really was nice. The last thing that I have, I am so happy about, it is my last ever wallflower in the scent Champagne Toast. I have no more of these on back stock. I am so happy about that. I, uh, for a while, have not really enjoyed the wallflowers. Uh, I've been through two of these wallflower diffusers. People have said that it's probably the diffuser that's the issue, but like, I just can't really smell this. And it's stronger the first hour you have it, and then it disappears to nothing and it doesn't work very well and I don't think you should have to constantly be buying new diffusers for them to constantly work. It just doesn't make sense to me so I will not buy them anymore and I'm really really happy to officially have them out of my collection. It's taken me about I think a year of steadily using them to get them out of my collection but they're gone. It's one less thing that I'm hoarding and I'm really happy about it. So these are all of my Bath & Water X empties. Very candle heavy. Uh, like I said, I have been burning a lot. I'm home pretty much all day every day during the month of August. So I'm burning pretty much all day, which makes me happy because I'm burning through a lot of candles, but they amass really quickly. All right guys, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.